we are going to learn how to create Google Jamboards. So the first thing you want to do is go into your Google Drive and you'll click new. And after you click new, your little menu will pop up. Once your menu has appeared, you want to go down to more. And then on that menu that shows, you want to find Google Jamboard. It's orange and looks like a little J. And you will click on that. Once you click on it, it's going to open in a new tab, a Google Jamboard. The great thing about Jamboard is it looks very similar to Google Slides. So you're probably already kind of familiar with that. Now. Over here to the side, you have different icons, and this is where all of your creativity tools are. So you have a pen, and when you click on that, and you click on it again, you can have that be a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a paintbrush. And if you choose one of those, you can change the color to one of the six designated colors down here. And then I'm just clicking and dragging my mouse across the screen. Um, and I can always change the colors and the pen type if I want to, just by clicking on it again. You also have an eraser that you can erase. If you want to clear everything, you can just click clear frame. If you need to go back and have a pointer instead of that, that's what that is. You also have sticky notes and sticky notes are super cool because you can change the color of them. And when you have students collaborating together all on one, the sticky notes are pretty handy. You just press save and it's going to automatically put it up there and you can have another one or you can press cancel and then you can move those around if you want to just by clicking on them and dragging. You can also make them be larger or smaller just by dragging there. If you click on the three dots, you can edit that if you ever need to. You can duplicate if you have like something that you want to make multiple copies of, or you can delete if you need to. Um, you can add pictures. And when you click on that, you can take a picture with your camera or you can upload something directly from your computer. You can do a Google search. And if you pick oh, maybe not that one, let's go with this one. <laughs> you can insert. And it'll put the picture right there for you. Um, and then you also have pictures from Google Drive and Google Photos. Those typically aren't the ones that we, we use a whole lot. But the Google Image Search and the camera itself uh, would probably be the ones that you use the most. You also have shapes. So if you want to put arrows or anything else, you can just click and drag to make it be whatever size it is that you want. And you can change the border color by clicking the pencil. And you can change the fill color if you want to by clicking the paint bucket. Those will only show when you click on the shape itself. Um, so if you don't see them, try clicking on the shape. These are great for like Venn diagrams to help you make those circles so you don't have to worry about changing or doing those perfectly yourself and drawing freehand. Um, and you can always click the three dots and duplicate and then drag it to where you want it to go. So you have it all right there for you. Um, the last two, you have a text box and it works just like any other text box. You click where you want your text to appear and it will show. You have a few different types of text. You can make it be really large with display or you can Choose one of the other options, like you have caption for captions. You can change your color of your um, text as well to one of the six colors and the alignment of the text. But lastly, you've got the laser, which is just exactly like what you would think. It shows for a second. So like if I wanted to circle this, it shows and then it just disappears. You also have the ability to set the background. So up here where it says set background, I can change it to one of these six designate or sorry, seven designated backgrounds with white or dots or any of the others. 
they have lined paper, um, the graph, and all of those. Or if you want to have your own background, you can click image and you can upload any pictures from your computer or for your camera. So I'm going to click my computer this time and I'm going to find something on here. Let's just pretend that that's a screenshot that I want my students to annotate on. I can click on it and upload it into the background and that way students can't delete the background they can only delete what artifacts that I've put on there but they can't change anything that's going on in the back all right so just a couple of more things you can change the title of it so I might want to say this is 12 18 assignment I can add additional slides if I want to so if I wanted to have all of my slides preloaded before my class I could have those already created. Um, and if I click on the slide number cards, I can even duplicate the whole slide if I want to. So if I wanted two of these, I could just press that. That's also where I can delete one if I need to do that. Um, and I can also drag and drop these into any order it is that I want them to go. If you want your students to all work on the same one, you can post this into Google Classroom and make it to where anyone with the link can edit. So students can edit this file, or you can press the blue share button. And this might be the easiest way while we're teaching virtually, but I press the blue share button. I'm gonna go down to change link to Franklin County Public Schools and change it to anyone in this group and where it says viewer, I'm gonna change it to editor. And then you can copy that link and paste it directly into your Google Meet session. And anybody that copies on that or clicks on that will have access to edit the same copy. Thank you so much for learning about Google Jam Words with us today. If you have any questions, my name is Stella Pollard. Feel free to reach out to me.